So, hi. Yeah, I'm Kostya and I think you know me, you know us from our reports. So, we're traveling with our group now for already three years, three weeks in the winter. Oh, that's Alphonse, by the way, yeah? So, he's also kind of going with us and he had a good time. He has an icy face, but he loves his royal poodle. And um, I think it's a good thing to travel also with the dog in winter. He loves it when it's not colder than 25 below zero, then he wants to be inside. But uh, beside that, he enjoys the, the winter and he has a good time. We all have a good time with him. So just can try it with a dog, why not? And if you have short, fair short hair, then maybe get, get him dressed. But uh, anyway, it's a big fun to be with a dog in the winter. And, but that's not, our main topic, the main topic is talking about how to get safe through the winter with the camper van. And the first part what we want to do is we want to talk about the car, how it has to be prepared. And we will look at it behind us, there's the camper van. And of course it needs to have a new battery, really good one to get the engine started. The same for the inside, but for the inside we'll talk later. And of course you have to prepare, for example, the rubbers of the car. Yeah, so there's several, several possibilities not to get into an unkin unconvenient situation. So, keyword rubbers. Rubbers from the door. So we can have a look at it. Yeah. You see, imagine you open your door, it's cold, humid, and you crack, and then you just ruin the rubber. But you have a silicone spray, you can put it on here, all around, and then you're safe for the frost. Yeah, that's what you can do in advance. Also, like the locks, before you leave, put in the locks, yeah, like you have this spray, WD-40. It doesn't help you when it's too late, when it's already frozen, but then you need spirit or so. But here, you can do it in advance. All these things you have to do in advance. Of course, you need to do in advance, put enough antifreeze in your uh, cooling system. That's clear. Yeah, it means to meet minus th 35, you should have in at least. The same, of course, for just uh, the wipers. It also should be concentrate. 25, 35 I would do, because they have small holes and you get frozen quite quickly. That's, of course, to protect the car in advance. And of course, it needs to be, to have a good maintenance and all. They all should be working even more than under normal conditions, because to have a car running in winter, it's tougher than under normal conditions. So much about the general preparation for the car and of course ah look at look at the tires there's one more thing let's talk about the tires this is a four-wheel drive but anyway four-wheel drive or not you should have winter tires really typical winter tires and you can see like for here they have these small cuts in and this is why they work better than the rough ones you can with the four-wheel drive of course you're allowed uh, to have also the normal ones here but it's better to have the winter tires and the bigger trucks from 7.5 tons and above, they need to have snow chains. So without snow chains here, we are not be allowed to drive, especially in Norway. So be prepared for this. And um, yeah, that's the main thing. You can put spikes on if you want, especially the small cars have this opportunity. Then you're also safe. They're slippery roads and it winds and so it. And, and you also have to climb sometimes the hills. Be prepared for this. So far, so much for the car. And now we look at the equipment. What we have is here, very easy thing, which I brought from one of the Asian travels. It's not made for winter, yeah? But the thing is like, just stop it. You're somewhere the handbrake does not work. You just put here under, yeah? Like you go, it's easy to chuck under it. And then the car may not roll away, maybe it will slide away. Maybe, I didn't try it yet. The thing is like, you have these plastic things, but it's a good idea to blocked somehow. Okay guys, let's have a look now on another, I mean, predictable equipment, yeah? And also the dog, yeah, the dog has the food and all the things he needs, you see he loves it. What we have here is uh, just some brushes and uh, this is just to get rid of the ice of the snow. It is really snowing oddly carefully with this one, you can stretch the lag and you can damage cables and everything. Uh, but this one is of course the more soft version and you can also get rid of the ice on the uh, windshield for example. Yeah, it can happen. It's now very dry or cold, about 12, 
15 below zero so we don't have any ice problems here at this time but it can rain it can snow and then you may need these things and what you also need is here look at the shovels you have two different ones one for the hard snow like if it's icy hard and sea snow for example because you can't you have to dig you can get stuck in you then you can do it with this one the one you also use in the desert and there's a second one for the normal snow the powder snow you can take it this one and then you can also free your car with it yeah so that's the tool you should have it's not a big amount maybe to get a 20 bucks both of them so that's the basic you can need and you can fit it in any car last one topic is the ropes in case you are in an inconvenient situation with your car stuck it's a typical thing in Vienna driving on the road and just pulls you to the side and you get stuck so you need to be evacuated mostly from the back so you should have something from the back that they can tow you from there and uh, of course it's helpful to have ropes with you strong ones just triple the weight of your car that's the rope you need and uh, there are different ones like the normal rope which just can link your car to another one or the dynamic one where somebody with a lower weight can drive into this rope and pull it with the whole energy out this works like he pulled out the 16 ton truck with the 10 ton truck using such a dynamic rope so that can be a tool link it of course especially when you have for example like very small uh, um, and that's just instruments to, to just get it adapted yeah you can use this one and make it small and bring it together with a big truck because they have sometimes these huge monster uh, ropes and how you want to link it but with this shackle you can do it and it's it's the new one like the rope version not the metal version they're strong about 20 tons they stand so this is the most convenient thing you can have you don't have to screw anything and so it doesn't get stuck it's very easy to work with this one last thing some safety i mean just have a spare tank with you i mean this is saying without a going just put it somewhere in it's smelly somewhere outside because if it's diesel it's, it's, it doesn't smell very nice but um, that's what you should have and of course last but not least is the is some kind of gravel you put on the ground like sand when you imagine you like have to get over a 10 meter decline it's icy you have no chance you can do it with chains maybe with spikes but even not with winter tires but you can put the sand on it will save you this thing is enough for at least five to ten meters it can be deciding if you need more than you well you have to do something else but that's what we decided to do we didn't use it yet but can we yeah and if we make more experiences about this in the next weeks we also will let you know